Finasteride syndrome. Warning, this is an educational video to warn men in the world that are using this drug, finasteride. So many millions and millions of men use it, mainly for hair loss prevention in the world. Also used by bodybuilders to prevent the effects of androgen anabolic steroid effects adversely, mainly acne and of course hair loss. I've been getting so many calls for so many years and so many consultations on this. Please show this to men that are using this drug and they're not sure if they're having side effects. The history of this drug goes back with Merck Pharmaceuticals. The FDA cleared this drug 1992 for benign prostatic hyperplasia. That was the initial use because the prostate is uh, very interesting that it's effects of the prostate from DHT, testosterone, it's a male organ. So if you block DHT, you're gonna have effects on the prostate Hopefully for older men, it's better effects when you have obstruction because the prostate grows too large. There were studies actually about 10 years ago indicating that men that use this drug actually may have had a lower overall incidence of prostate cancer, but the concern was that the prostate cancer we saw was more malignant, it was more severe. Further studies disprove that, so today we don't know. Do not use this drug for that prevention, prostate cancer prevention. It's not going to be used for that. 1997, Merck remarkets the drug in addition to the BPH for male pattern balding. That's it. Drug's been out there generically for decades and it's widely used. What I'm concerned for, what I'm seeing, and what a lot of physicians miss because they don't know it and they don't look for it and they don't take a good history, post finasteride syndrome is the constellation of symptoms after using this drug, even small doses for the hair, the tiny doses that are used versus bigger doses for BPH. It's a constellation of sexual symptoms, poor libido, frank erectile dysfunction, abnormal ejaculation, even psychological issues depression and low energy. That's it. Now, of course, it's very difficult to tease this out from low testosterone, from other medical issues, so you have to think about it, doctors and patients and men in the world, and you have to consider it. Not all men have post finasteride syndrome. It has to be teased out, it has to be discussed, it has to be looked at in detail. It can be permanent. And that's the scary, scary piece. And these are men that are, again, not on testosterone. Again, steroid users and men that are on TRT can use this. I don't recommend it. I don't use it. It's very, very, I think it's not worth it. I tell men in the end, you're going to go on testosterone. You're going to potentially lose some hair. Think about it. Maybe you don't want to go on testosterone or, of course, use steroids. If the hair aspect is that important to you, or what you can do is, I don't recommend using this at the same time. Men do use it. Some men say, because I'm on testosterone, my libido's good, it's protecting that effect, and I'm blocking the DHT receptors, so it's holding the hair. It can work. There's no studies on that. Each man is very specific and personal, like personal fingerprint medicine, I call it. So you have to talk to a doctor, you have to work at it. You could look at DHT numbers, you could look at, there's another drug called dutasteride. That's a DHT one and two blocker for BPH only, not for hair loss, but men use it off label for hair loss. So you wanna be careful, both these drugs. In the end of the day, if your hair is that important, you need testosterone, you're gonna to have to make a choice. What do I see men do? They can, if they have some hair already, they can get hair transplants, obviously. Filling in called reforestation. What else? PRP to the hair. I mean, a lot of this stuff can help. Um, and beyond that, you go see a very good hair restoration expert. There are many in the world, and they can look at this together. A lot of those doctors prescribe this. Primary care doctors prescribe finasteride for this utility of premature hair loss. And you just have to be careful.
Thank you so much. I hope this helps. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.